Hi, I'm Mo, and welcome to the Code Lab. Today we're going to be talking about Heimdall. I think that's how it's pronounced since I've been watching the uh, Thor movies lately, which I highly, highly recommend. But we're not going to talk about the Nordic warrior gatekeeper of Asgard here. We're going to be talking about the container that deploys uh, the application dashboard and you can use in your home lab or you can use in the office to centralize all your apps into one portal. Today, I will be covering some of the features, installations, and use case. All right, so to install it, I went to Artic artifacthub.io. I found the chart from Kubernetes at home, and um, I usually inspect the charts just to see the security rating, uh, which this one doesn't have one, so it's a little concerning, but not that big of a deal uh, when you look at the fact that it has over 4,000 stars in GitHub, uh, about 411 forks, and it's been updated recently. Uh, you can also go to the Docker page and uh, and see the uh, the build steps that they took to create this container. Uh, this is a very well known uh, publisher, Linux Server .io. They deploy a bunch of containers, uh, so I'm good with the deployment. Uh, and this is where I grabbed the chart. Uh, second, the uh, only thing that I did uh, differently on the chart was to set up the uh, basic parameters. Uh, I, I looked at the values of the ammo. Uh, I just put in my time zone uh, and I put in my uh, user IDs. Uh, the only other thing that I had to do was to add the uh, node selector since uh, uh, my Kubernetes cluster has both Raspberry Pis and two AMD64 computers. So I had to make sure that this is running from that cluster. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, when I check to see the deployment, I can see it, uh, I can see the container running. Uh, I can also look at the container a little more in depth, just to make sure that all the annotations are there. Uh, and I also deployed the uh, ingress uh, as a separate step so I can get to it. Uh, but with DNS and also to have a cert, uh, since I'm using certbot uh, for it. All right, once I deployed the ingress, I just went to Pi-hole and added the uh, DNS uh, record by just pointing the name to the ingress controller's IP. Very simple, so I can just get it uh, with the name. Now that, that DNS is working, here's uh, the application dashboard. Uh, I just use my DNS name to get to it. And as you can see, I have four different categories that I have uh, configured here. What I'm going to do now is, uh, since I want to use this as a landing page, I'm going to add a search bar so I can get to the internet from here. And uh, my favorite has been DuckDuckGo. So I'm going to add it here, click save. And when I go back to the dashboard, you can see the search bar. Uh, I can use this to get to the internet and I can also go back and get to my internal applications uh, that I have in my home lab. So you can see here are my admin tools. Here are my Kanban boards. I'm using Kanban for, for that. Uh, here are my books. I'm going to be adding Proxmox today. The cool thing with Heimdall is that it adds templates that you can use. Uh, so you don't have to go and get the logo of the application and Another cool thing is that you can pass parameters like your username and passwords, so you can log in direct. Now, I haven't configured this. Uh, I'm good by just having the link. So I'm just going to add the URL of my Proxmox uh, virtual environment, and I'm just going to save it. As you can see, now I have Proxmox configured in, in the uh, homepage of the application dashboard. And when I click here, I can get to my Proxmox easily. I'm logging in so you can see the virtual environment and see a few of my VMs. Yeah, but I want to go a step further and I want to add Proxmox. I don't want to keep it on the homepage. So I, I want to add it on their admin tools and you can easily edit the application that you added by removing the homepage tag and adding the one desired. And that's it. That's Heimdall in a nutshell. Heimdall is very easy to configure and they're constantly adding templates in their GitHub page to make it easier to add apps. Uh, so I highly recommend it. Thank you for watching the Code Lab and keep an eye for upcoming demos.